Hello guys, this is Glenn from Sydney CBD Repair Center and today we have something from Nokia. This is the Nokia 3.4 with a pretty bad display, so we're gonna fix it. So we're gonna remove this back cover by lifting up the sides of the display so no adhesives on this one it's just held on by clips which is kind of characteristic of a mid-range smartphone so before you do this if you want to do this on your own nokia 3.4 you make sure you remove the sim card tray first because it's directly attached to the frame so actually the back cover and the frame the side is one piece and it's mostly plastic and you have to admit that this one and the internal on the back is kind of really good to look at it's well covered so we're gonna remove this shroud which is also plastic nothing against plastic but it's really the saving cost on materials and it'll also make the smartphone very lightweight. We're gonna test this display, replacement display that we have here, see if the board works, and it does. Android One. Android One is a version of Android that is kind of for devices with lower uh, hardware specifications. So it will run smoothly on, on low-end uh, devices it still has this Google Play Store at, at least not unlike Huawei without the Google services to be honest you can't really tell if you're coming from a full-fledged Google device with a full Google version so we're gonna remove this battery connector and of course two connectors for the display and proceed now to the disassembly process so to disassemble the device we have to remove this shroud for the daughter board at the bottom so it's a main board at the top battery at the center and then the daughter board at the bottom with the speakers charging ports and other connectors so we're gonna remove this signal cables the charging port and then the battery has to go out as well it's because the flat cable as you can see there that's going across the device is for the display so the battery has to come out first sometimes devices have the flat the flex cable or the flat cable on top of the battery so no need for you to remove it then after we have removed the flex cable for the display we're gonna slowly pry it off the frame so we're not gonna reuse this so if you incur more damage on the glass then don't worry there's still remnants of glass shards on this corner we're gonna clean up the old adhesive so that we can put the replacement display flush on the frame especially here and we'll also test fit if the replacement display will fit on the slot for the display because sometimes the frame which is plastic or even aluminium can have bends or deformities on the corners where you drop the device it seems to be good so we're gonna put some liquid glue so that it will adhere to the frame as you can see Nokia has designed this or HMD because Nokia is no more HMD global has designed it very very good for a mid-range smartphone 
So we're gonna put the flex cable connectors through the frame. There's some slots for it there. And then press the replacement display on top of the frame. So if you have the Nokia or other Nokia models that you want to get fixed, or maybe you can find a repair shop with parts for the repair that you want, you can talk to David here in Sydney CBD or Paris Center. You can message us uh, over at Facebook or, or through our website. You can also call us. There will be contact information after this video. Or if you can't visit Sydney or you don't want to uh, travel in this pandemic time, you can mail in your device, we receive it, then we fix it in the shop, and then once we're done, we're going to return it to you. So we do iPhones, we do ROG phones, uh, RG phones with broken displays or batteries. We will source the correct parts for you so you don't have to because if you diy this you can of course you can have other positive things that you can gain of course learning and satisfaction that you did it yourself but sometimes it's a hassle to hunt for parts and do the job yourself so this one is almost done we're just gonna check the cameras buttons speakers sensors everything then we can close the device like no, nothing happened to it no adhesives no problem we're just gonna clean it up a bit those are glue residue and we're gonna let the rubber bands do their job let the glue cure and it's gonna be given back to the client so I hope you enjoy this guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for joining us and David here who's all is the Samsung master of Sydney. Till next time. Cheers. If you want your smartphone fixed for a very reasonable price, you may contact Sydney CBD Repair Center. We also provide mail-in repair services for customers outside of Australia or Sydney. Just message us so we can arrange the shipping of your device.